hey cuties so in today's role playing video i got adopted by the richest mom in the world so what movie are we gonna watch we should just pick like a real feel good one like a happy one feel good happy why is everyone so cruel to me life is so unfair and i've just done nothing wrong to deserve all of this uh what is wrong with her yeah she doesn't like feel good movies i wish i felt good i guess not but Hey, uh, miss, are you okay? No, I'm not. Well, do you want to talk about it? What's there to even talk about? Well, it's always good to start with what's wrong, maybe. My whole life is wrong. Nothing is ever good. Uh, Kenzie, we should probably get out of here before something bad happens. Ma'am, don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. What's okay? Nothing is okay. But it can be. Nothing can be. I am trying so hard for it all to be okay. Well, what are you doing wrong? Nothing. I give all of these people money, and then I make them do things, and they don't love me. They only do it for the money. Oh, well, I'll do anything for the money. This is what I mean. People just don't get me. Sorry, don't mind her. She's just being silly. Hey, no, I'm not. <laughs> don't cry. Look, I'm sure you're super amazing. I just wish people treated me like I was amazing. Well, I definitely would. I wish you were my daughter. Don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. I really hope so. Well, I know so. Thanks, little girl. You're welcome. Have a great day. Wow, I need to have her in my life forever. Moments later. She was just the best. Like, I need her. Need who? What are you talking about? Sweet little girl who reminds me of myself. She's so positive and amazing. Just a ball of sunshine. I'm confused. I want her to be my daughter. You already have a daughter. Yeah, but my daughter sucks and she's the worst. That is a very valid point. Plus, I want to cut her out of the will, and if I do that, then the money goes to who? No one. It needs to go to someone. Someone I like. Uh, me? You only like me because I pay you. Hey, that's not true. Why are you doing this? You know I hate liars. Is that what you really hate? Well, I hate that my daughter left with her stupid dad and left me all alone. And now I have no one to spend time with. And now I have to use my money to control people and get their attention. It's like really toxic. Where did you learn all of this? Someone that I gave money to so that they'd listen to me speak. So now you want this random girl who is nice to you to be your daughter? Exactly. Well, why don't you just adopt her? Huh, I never thought of that. Ugh, why were you given so much money? And this is why I pay you to assist me. You think of all the smart people things while I just enjoy my life. I really don't know why I never thought of that. Yep, that is what you pay me for. Ta-da! I'll see you soon with my new daughter. I wish I had that much money to just be a dummy. Life would be so much easier. I don't think I would ever even cry. Meanwhile... I can't see! Are you in here? I need to ask you something! My goodness, girly, that's the crazy lady from earlier! And she wants to talk to you! This cannot be good! Yes! Hi! I'm right here! Oh, Mackenzie! Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Nice going. I just realized I never told you my name. Yeah, you're right. What is your name? It's Jennifer. Oh, I love that name. It is pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Is that why you came over here to tell her your name? No, no, no. Uh, not really. Uh, uh I want to adopt you. Uh. Oh, this is going to be good. So, what do you say, new daughter? Um, I can't do that. I'm really sorry. I already have parents. What? I'll buy you whatever you want. I'm super rich, and I can afford anything. Like, literally anything. That's tempting, but I can't do that. Why not? Because I already have parents and I don't want to hurt their feelings. I'll make their feelings not hurt. Please, you can have your own unlimited visa card. It's basically like having unlimited money. Whoa, you can adopt me. I don't want to adopt you. I want to adopt Mackenzie. No, no, it's okay. Please, don't cry. You are interrupting the movie. Movies are supposed to be silent. You're literally the craziest lady alive. Oh, finally, someone said it. No one has ever called me a crazy lady before you must be the crazy one <laughs> that's surprising wow thanks oh no, no no she doesn't mean it this always happens to me oh thank goodness that's over with i felt like i was gonna watch the entire movie sky don't be such a mean girl one pathetic soap story later well i'm guessing it didn't go well the town karen was there and she ruined everything i was talking to mackenzie and she got all angry and then i just left karen you know the town karen the most annoying the one that ruins all the fun. Oh, right. Yeah, I hate her. I'll take care of Karen for you. Good, she ruined it all. Now there's no hope, but that makes me feel a little better that you're going to deal with her. So you didn't ask if she wanted to be adopted? No, I did. And 
what'd she say? That she doesn't want to because her parents will be sad. Well, why don't you just go and talk to the parents and give them a bunch of money? Huh, I never thought of that. Do you think that they'd accept? Why wouldn't they? Good point. One hour later. That stupid lady ruined the best part of the movie. Ugh, I hate her so much and I hate the movie theater for not doing anything. I'm gonna have to make a complaint about this behavior. Hey, what are you doing parking right behind my car like that? You almost killed me and now I'm gonna have to get my lawyers involved. You are going to jail. Oh, you are so going to jail. I am suing you. Mark my words. Goodness, you have got to be the most annoying person that has ever lived. Do you ever shut up? Oh, excuse me. You have been excused. You are making me angry and you don't want to see me angry. I am warning you. <laughs> What's so funny? You are. Ah, uh, whatever. Not so fast. Excuse me, but what are you doing? been waiting here for a while. For what? For you. Why? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. All that matters is that you're coming with me. Well, uh, what if I don't want to? You don't have a choice. What? Well, where are you taking me? A vacation. Vacation where? Somewhere you'll never come back from. Ah! Yeah! Just enjoy the ride. Later that same evening. Honestly, I feel bad for that lady. Why on earth did you feel bad for her? Because she just seems sad, girly. Do you not feel bad for that? Let's face it, girly. She was, like, top of the list, Cray Cray. Oh, yeah, so? So why would I feel bad for her? Because, guys, she's sad. Well, she shouldn't be. She's got more money than she knows what to do with it. That doesn't seem like someone who should be sad. I wonder if she even does have all that money. Or if she was just trying to lie to make me say yes. Yeah, that kind of seems more likely. Well, I guess we could check. Come on, follow me. Wait, how are we going to check? Rich mom named Jennifer. That's how. Oh, wow. Good boy. Oh, my God. Girly. What? I would be getting adopted by the richest mom in the world. Wow, that is pretty sad that you let that bag slip. She's actually a delusional, crazy, rich lady. Huh, the world we live in. Hey, you wanted her to adopt you. You even asked if she would, and she said no. She was offering unlimited money. How could I say no? I did. Yeah, because you're silly. That's why. Ugh, whatever, girly. Moments later. <sighs> I do it? Jeez, I am so nervous. No, no, don't be nervous. You can do this. You have to. This is so exciting. What if they say no? There's no way. They'll love how much money I'm offering them. Uh, who are you? Who are you? I asked first. I don't care. Okay, then get out of my house. Wait, so, who are you? I'm Jennifer, and I'm still confused. I know Mackenzie. Can we just talk for a minute? Sure. Hey, who's this? Apparently, she knows Mackenzie. Huh, aren't you a little old to know Mackenzie? I would like to adopt her. What? Oh. See, I'm like the richest mom in the world, and I want to adopt Mackenzie. Why? Because she makes me feel less sad with her. I'm willing to pay millions of dollars. Is this some kind? of joke? No. Mom? Dad? Mackenzie? Uh, can I talk to you privately for just a second? Yes, of course, honey. Come on, let's go over here. Honey, uh, who is that? Yeah, she wants to give us millions of dollars to adopt you. Please, don't do that. Well, honey, we would never. Okay, good. Whew. So, is the decision yes? No, I'm sorry, Jennifer, but they'll have to decline. What? But you're breaking my heart. Fine, if that's what they want. <laughs> <laughs> I am so confused. Me too. Honestly, me three. Meanwhile. This isn't fair. Didn't go well? No. Well, I took care of Karen though, so we do have some positive news. What does that have to do with anything? Um, well, I don't get it. Seriously? Yes. Oh, God. Just explain. I took care of Karen so I could, you know. No, I don't, you know. Well, I could take care of them, too, you know, if you catch my drift. Oh, yes. But her parents didn't do anything wrong, and they seem super nice, and I don't want Mackenzie to be, like, sad about them. We'll take care of them so you can adopt her and have no issues. Are you sure it will work? Are you kidding me? Are you forgetting who you're speaking with right now? Hey, I'm just making sure. If you mess this up, you're fired, by the way. Well, I am definitely not worried. Good. The next morning. Oh, come on. We've got nothing to make. Yeah, you're telling me. Well, someone hasn't been grocery shopping all week. And who said that was my job? You did. You said you love grocery shopping, Mom. Yeah, you make me clean the toilets while you get to go grocery shopping. Yeah, and you've been slacking. I have not. The fridge was full last night. Well, it looks pretty empty to me right now. You must have woken up in the middle of the night and eaten everything. Oh, you monster. Dad! Dad, I didn't do that. you got to believe me. Sure. 
Okay. Okay, well, none of this solves the problem, though. We always have family breakfast. Oh, I guess family grocery shopping it is. Woohoo! Let's go! Uh, hello? <clears throat> hello, Mackenzie? It's your principal. You don't really sound like my principal, though. Well, I am, so you better listen to me unless you want to be in big trouble at school. Really? What do I have to do? Please, I'll do anything. I just really don't want to be in trouble. What did you do wrong, Mackenzie? I don't know. If you want to get out of trouble, go upstairs onto your computer. Okay, okay, I'm on it right now. Guys, I gotta go on my computer. I can't go grocery shopping. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, I'm on the computer now. Good. Now what do I do? Log into your school account. Okay, yeah, I'm on it. Good. Wait, school account? We don't have school accounts. Uh, yes, you do. No, we don't. Who is this? Meanwhile. Oh, I forgot how fun it was to hang out with you, wifey. What? You forgot? Yeah, I just remembered. Really? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, you are so in the doghouse. But why? Because you're being a bad boy. Hey, but I'm a good boy. Why am I bad? Because you don't have to me. Yes, I do. Many hours later. Oh, how did this happen? Carly, what is going on? I, I don't know. Well, I've got good news. Doctor, talk to me. What's going on? Well, at first glance, it might not be looking good. That's not very good news. Let me finish. We'll get to the point. Yeah, this is what is killing us. Well, your mom and dad are in comas. Well, thanks for the news, Flash. I think we already knew that. Yeah, do you have any new updates or things we don't know? Um... Are they going to be okay? Yeah, they're gonna be totally fine. But yeah, that would maybe be something that you should lead with. Oh, what a huge relief. That makes me feel way better. Meanwhile... What do you mean you haven't finished the job? Well, I did my part, but the job wasn't finished. You've gotta be kidding me. I don't pay you to mess things up, or do I? I feel like I don't. Otherwise, I wouldn't be paying you. I may be rich, but I'm not dumb. Well, I'm here at the hospital to fix the problem. Well, what are you waiting for? Get a move on, Missy. Ugh, she is so bossy. <laughs> Hello, yes? Oh, and I forgot to mention, don't call me until it's finished. Okay, got it. Good. Uh, okay, now where are they? Um, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, um, just visiting. Mackenzie's parents, where are you? There is no screaming in a hospital. What do you think you're doing? But you're screaming. Uh, what? You're the one that walks in the private section of the hospital. And your point, I'm lost. My point is you're not allowed over here. Well, I got Lost. I don't care. You're acting sus. Okay, and what does that matter? What are you doing here? I'm here to visit family. What are their names? And more importantly, what is your name? Ugh, that doesn't matter. It does to me. Ugh, jeez, just leave me alone. No. You're annoying. I'm grieving. You have to leave the hospital right now. And what if I don't want to? Then I will call George and we will have a big, big problem. Ugh, what? So are you leaving? Yeah, sure. Then start walking. We can walk there together. Later that night. Well, now should be perfect since they're closed. Hospitals don't close, dummy. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Ugh, when the heck am I ever going to go in then? Hmm. <gasps> I disguise. Why didn't I ever think of that? What am I doing with my life? A few moments later. A plus for disguise, that's for sure. All right, moment truth. Hey there, just to let you know, the hospital closes in about 10 minutes. So you lied. Pardon me? Uh, nothing, nothing. Do we know each other? Um, are you trying to flirt with me or something? Cause ew. Oh, that was a close one. Oh, where do I even start? This is literally gonna take forever. Hmm, what about this room here? Nope, not this one. Oh, why is there literally no one here? Not even any patients. Kind of creepy vibes, that's for sure. Oh, yet another empty room. It's like they hid them away from me because they knew that I was coming. Oh, would you looky here. About time. All right, now let's get you two out of here. Oh, gosh, you are way heavier than I thought you'd be. And I will be back for you later. You better stay right there, and I mean it. A few moments later. Oh, finally, let's get you in here, too. <laughs> It's all taken care of. Ugh, how did that take so long? What were you doing? Were you dilly-dallying again? No, I was not. I had to wait for the hospital to close. The hospital doesn't close. Whatever. It's all taken care of now. The next day. Honestly, living by yourself is kind of fantastic. Ah, I can really get used to this. Come in! Wait. George, what are you doing here? You can't see. I've got some bad news. Oh, no. What is it? Your parents are dead. What? How? They were supposed to make a full recovery. What happened? 
happened? Well, we're not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? How do I say this? Uh... Just put it any way it needs to be. I just can't stand here waiting. Well, we don't know because they went missing. So we don't actually know if they're dead. But if they were taken from the hospital alive, they're most likely not alive since, you know, they haven't healed yet. This is awful, George. I'm gonna be all alone. I mean, at least I'll be alone in this house. But, like, my parents were my besties. I hate to break it to you, too. Oh, my gosh, George. What are you planning on saying now? It better not make me even more upset. Well, I'm not sure how to put this, but it's not good. Just say it. What is with all the suspense with you? Sorry, I'm practicing my storytelling ability so I can quit my day job. Well, don't expect that happening anytime soon. That's real kind. I guess I don't feel bad about this. It's time to leave, Mackenzie. What do you mean? Are you accusing me of killing my own parents or making them go missing? That is insane, George. Okay, this has gone way too far. It's just not funny anymore. Oh, no, I'm not accusing you of that. Well, then where are you going to take me? To the adoption center. Why? Because, Mackenzie, you can't live at home by yourself. You've got to be kidding me. Now, come on. Let's go. No, Mackenzie's not going why? Jennifer? I've adopted Mackenzie, so she's coming with me. Wait, so I don't have to go to the adoption center? Well, I guess not. Oh, thank goodness. A few moments later. Welcome to your new home. This is like the biggest house I've ever seen. Really? Yes, I mean, look at it. I mean, I've seen bigger, but yeah, it's like the perfect size for me. Oh, I think it's huge. Oh, welcome to the rich life. Wow, that does sound pretty amazing. Trust me, it is. So, how are you feeling about your parents? Oh, well, I guess all this money will help with my sadness. It sure will. Can I have Sky come over and see the new house? It'll make me feel a lot better. Ooh. What? Yeah, I'm not really sure that's possible. Why? Because I need your help. I've been sad these past few days, and I need you to make me feel better. Oh, I see. Like, right now. Come on, I need your help. Oh, okay. Three hours later. Wow, at least my new room is pretty nice. Oh, hey, girly. Curly, what are you up to? I'm at home. What? Then why are you answering the door? I've been here knocking and ringing the doorbell, but no one's answering. Are you hiding from someone? Oh, no, sorry. I completely forgot. Forgot what? Well, my parents are missing, so Jennifer adopted me. What? How did you forget to tell someone that? How does that even make any sense? Well, it all just happened so fast, and then I wanted you to come over. But then she made me listen to her problems for the past 10 hours. Well, my only other option was to go to the adoption center. Center, and honestly, that sounded terrible. Oh my god, that sounds awful. Why did you even agree to this? And what happened to your parents? I don't even know what happened to my parents. I mean, George doesn't even know, but that's not a surprise. So what's going on? Well, I guess I got adopted by the richest mom in the world. So now you're like her for real's daughter? I guess so. Mackenzie, I need your help. Come here. Sorry, Sky. Looks like I gotta go. I still don't get why you aren't upset about what happened I am, girly. I just had no choice. Mackenzie! Coming! Okay, girly, I really gotta go. Mackenzie! I'm walking to you right now! Several days later. We are literal beach baddies now. We can beach whenever we want. Yeah, honestly, thank God that Jennifer has her own beach house, too. This is awesome. Please don't mess this up. You've got a good, girly. But my parents disappearing was sus. Extremely sus. Well, you're a rich girl now, so maybe just, like, chill and enjoy rich girl life. I'll try, I guess. Mackenzie, I heard you're, like, part of the club now. Welcome to the beach club. And Sky, I don't even know why you're even allowed here. This is a rich girl only vibe. Hi, Mackenzie! Whoa, uh, Ayla, settle down, chill. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. I just want to be your friend. I'll be your bestie and I'll touch Ashley instantly for your richness. Well, I'd love to say yes just to annoy your friend. She's not even my friend. You are. Get out of here, Ashley. What did you just say to me, Ayla? Yeah, you heard her, Ashley. Yeah, Ashley. Yeah, loser. Oh, you are so done for, Ayla. Don't care, loser. Ah, you'll pay for this one. All three of you. Ah. Well, now that it's just the three of us, well, Ayla, we're not actually friends with you. We just wanted to ruin your friendship with Ashley. Oh. Yeah, so do you think that maybe you could leave? Yeah, chop, chop. You're blocking the sun. <laughs> oh, I really could get used to this rich girl life. Me too, girly. Me too. Moments later. Oh, my gosh. Kenzie, look. Oh, my gosh. Do you think... Is that the same one? A hundred percent. Without a doubt. Okay, that is so not good. He must be behind it. This must have all been Jennifer's plan. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, I totally think that you should. Oh my gosh, she's walking over here. Do you think she heard us? 
not natural, Mackenzie. Yes, everything is okay here. I am not suspicious. Oh, my goodness. Uh, pardon me. Nothing. Well, your new mom needs you back at the house. She wants you to go home now so you can help her with something. Girly, do it. Now's your chance to get her to lie. Uh, sorry, girly, but you need to go home. Wink, wink. Maybe I'll, uh, talk to you later. Uh, yeah, totally. I'll go home. Wink, wink. Uh, do you think I'm stupid or something? Enough joking around. Mackenzie, it's time to go. Right, coming. Moments later. Mackenzie, oh, I need your help. I don't know why I don't feel good. I just need your presence and someone to talk to. Well, I'm right here for you, but I just need to ask you something. Oh, I don't know what I would do without talking to you. Well, can we just talk about something for a second? We need to talk about my stuff first. Why can we never talk about me and my problems? Because this is all mine. Oh, uh, what was that? Nothing. Why are you lying to me? You also told me there's no attic in this house. I never said that. I'm pretty sure you did. Well, I'm gonna go and check it out. No, you can't do that. It's not safe. Why not? You just said it was nothing. See, you're lying. You're not going up there. I don't care what you say. Ugh, fine. A few moments later. <laughs> I'm reporting you to the police and then I'm taking you to court. Good luck. Moments later. Okay, guys, looks like the coast is clear. Oh, I am very disappointed in you, Mackenzie. Hey, no one ever says they're disappointed in my daughter but me. I can say whatever I want. Well, we're leaving. Yeah, see you later, crazy lady. Actually, I hope we never see you again. I'd say it was a pleasure, but it wasn't. You three aren't going anywhere. Well, have fun in jail. Oh, I am so out of here. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Anywhere but here in jail. Well, I guess that means you'll have fun in jail. But, but I didn't do anything wrong. Several days later. George, please, just let me out of here. No way that's happening. You're like my first solved case in like forever. Uh, please, just don't leave me here alone. I've got dinner with my mommy. Bye-bye. Ugh, great. Hello, Jennifer. Oh, what are you doing here, traitor? Oh, so you don't want me to save you? No, I do, I do. Please save me. I'm not actually saving you. I just wanted to get your hopes up before I crush them. So then, what are you doing here? Tying up loose ends. Uh-oh. <laughs>